and bringing you tonight's rivalry game between the Mount Pleasant Eagles and the Springfield Ravens, a win crucial for either team's chances to make the playoffs. Springfield has won the toss and they've elected to receive. Here's the kick from Mount Pleasant that gets us underway. And he's forced out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First and 10 for Springfield. It's a toss to the tailback. He's got some room. And he's pushed out of bounds after a 20-yard gain. Here's the snap. And it's a deep shot down the sideline. He hits him, and he's gone. Touchdown, Springfield. The Mount Pleasant offense takes the field for their first possession of the game. Hey, you can start running, by. Hey, let's roll tonight. Let's go. It's first and 10 for Mount Pleasant on their 30. Bench left, 21 draw, on one, on one. Ready? Let's ride. You got this. Here's the snap. It's a handoff. Ooh, the running back takes a big hit, and he stopped behind the line for a loss. Oh, he's very slow getting up. Let's hope he's okay. Hey, come on, man. Let's go. You good? Hey, you all right? Sure. All right, let's go. Looks like the running back is staying in the game. Big defensive stop by Mount Pleasant with five minutes left in the third. Springfield will punt. Here's the kick. Wow, the ball bounces right off his helmet, and Springfield recovers. What's wrong with you? Come on. Looks like his teammates aren't too happy with him after that. Springfield leads by four with just seconds left. Last chance for Mount Pleasant. They can win it here on fourth and goal. Check one, check one. The quarterback spots the defense and makes a check. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. It's a missed block by the running back. The quarterback sacked and there's a fumble. And Springfield appears to have recovered the ball. So, you've had a concussion, but we're on your team to get you better. Now, it sounds like you may have had more than one concussion in the same game, which could be serious. So, you won't be able to play until we see your condition improve, which could be the entire season, but we have a great game plan with strategies to get you back in the game the fastest. Okay? All right, we'll see at your follow-up appointment. Hey, what's good, man? My name is Bryce, but my guys call me B-Love. Don't stress. I've been in your shoes before. Everybody gets shaken up a time or two. It's tough, but I also know it doesn't have to be this way. Matter of fact, peep this. Yeah, that was smooth, right? Now let's watch some film. Bench left, 21 draw, on one, on one. Ready? Let's ride. You got this. This is you, right? Ooh, that looked bad. I bet you were wondering if you should get checked out. I get it. We tell ourselves it's nothing so we can stay on the field. But what's crazy is most concussions heal within 10 days if you take the right steps. So if this was your first concussion, hopefully you wouldn't even be out for long. But going back into the game can double your recovery time. And if you return to play too early, you may be three times as likely to have another concussion or injure a different part of your body. Now, instead of just 10 days, we're talking about your season, your career, or suffering from permanent brain damage. 
I mean, would you tell your quarterback to get into the game if he's in a shoulder sling? It's obvious he's got an injury. Crutches, casts, braces, those are passes to be on the sidelines during practice or in the game. But a concussion is an invisible injury, which makes it hard for people to know how badly you're hurt. I mean, come on, let's be real. There's no such thing as a brain brace. So what's your pass for an invisible injury? Be on the lookout for headaches, feeling dazed or foggy, trouble with vision, light sensitivity, ringing in your ears, irritability, confusion, or trouble sleeping. And you may not experience symptoms right away either. In fact, they may be delayed for a couple days. Your first concussion may feel different from your second. Yours may also look different than your friends. Think about it like this. Your brain has a series of connections called axons. Information travels on these axons just like cars on a highway. Anytime you take a hit to the head in practice or in the game, the highways could get damaged, creating these potholes, cracks, and other kinds of damage on the road. Over time, with enough repeated hits, I mean, let's be real, these highways may even break on their own. Now imagine all of a sudden you take a huge hit. Boom! That would be more like an earthquake, right? Who would want to drive in this? That earthquake and this damage to the highway is just like getting a concussion. These highways, our axons carrying all that critical information may be breaking. That's wild. And you might think your brain is protected because when you hit your head, it's hard. But actually, your brain has a consistency of jello and it floats inside your skull. So the first concussion could cause a big problem. In fact, even small hits to your head can weaken the axons in your brain. So here's a question for you. Can you still get a concussion if you weren't hitting the head? Absolutely you can. In fact, many concussions happen like this. A hard hit to your body can cause a whiplash motion to your brain, which results in a concussion. How about this one? Is a concussion more serious if you black out from it? No, actually many serious concussions happen without getting blacked out. At least nine out of 10 people do not black out from a concussion. That doesn't make it any less serious though. But we got you, so listen up. The good news is most people recover in 10 days if they take the right steps. So if you take yourself out of the game and work with your trainer or doctor, this is like rebuilding your roads on a sunny day, and this will get you back in the game the fastest. And we already told you, once concussed, there's a huge risk of getting injured again. Boom! That'd be like a second earthquake, but much, much worse. This means missing practices, games, and even the season, and none of us would want that. As athletes, we're often dealing with injuries like these. Some are more serious than others. Where do you think concussions would go? Are they less serious than, say, a dislocated finger, or more serious like an ACL tear? When we ask athletes, some said it could go here, or others say here. Turns out, both of these can be correct. This is the concussion contradiction. On one hand, if you report a concussion early and get treated properly, it doesn't need to be a serious injury. But if you continue to play without reporting and being treated properly, this simple injury can become serious. Think about it. You can replace your knee, your lungs, even your heart, but there's no way to replace your brain. A lot of players go back into the game because they think a helmet will protect them. But a helmet protects your skull from breaking. It does not prevent a concussion. Unlike the rest of your body, your brain has no pain receptors. So you have absolutely no idea how bad the damage is inside your brain. As a competitor, I used to think going back into the game was the best option. But playing with an injury just hurts me and my team. And that's just dumb ball. So you decided to stay in the game. Let's see how that ended up. When you get a concussion, you don't always see right. I mean, come on. How could you possibly catch that play? Check one, check one, check. Ah, uh, you thought you had that block, didn't you? But when you get a concussion, your balance and vision are off, and it's hard to focus. My guys think about it like this. 
If you're injured from your neck up, you need to step out and get checked out. Matter of fact, peep this. We're used to thinking in threes, whether it's a three-point stance or the three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. To maximize our performance, we must follow the concussion recovery triad. Sleep, exercise, nutrition. Let's get it. Improving sleep quality is key. That means no late nights and no long naps during the day. You have to get your rest, and you have to go to sleep about the same time every day. Hey, it's like sports. All the little things matter, right? Hey, the last person they want to see is a doctor, but they can get you back in the game the fastest. Trust their process, follow their game plan. The earlier you're back to school and exercise, the quicker you recover. You'll be back on the field in no time. Just like any injury, your body needs fuel to recover quickly. So stay hydrated, eat regularly, and snack throughout the day. Remember that highway example? Think of this as extra supplies to rebuild after an earthquake. We gotta look out for each other. Maybe you'll never get a concussion yourself, but there's a chance one of your teammates will. I've seen that happen to my guys. If you see your guys get shaken up, speak up. Have your teammates back. Tell a trainer, a coach, somebody you can trust. Your friend needs you, and your silence hurts more than it helps. For this is the law of the jungle. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Just ask yourself, who's got my back? I got your back. 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 Who's got my back?